Basket weaving as a simple skill is one of the oldest types of handicraft which have remained unchanged through the passage of time. Watching a basket weaver working today, we can turn our thoughts back hundreds of years and picture his ancestor of old using the very same technique to make a large variety of baskets in many different shapes and sizes, depending on his needs. The nature of Cyprus, rich as it is, provides the raw materials. One comes across various basket weaving materials on the island, which continue to be used today just as in the past. Most are encountered near rivers and running water. Of these, the most widespread is the common reed, which, when soaked, is more easily woven. In days of yore, the reeds would be placed in channels containing running water, but today they're soaked in small vats or even sprinkled with water. Reed baskets and other items using the same material are still made today by a small number of elderly women in the villages of Yopedri and Mesoyi. The variegated material used lends natural hues to the handicraft, which varies depending on the artistic bent and mood of the maker. In some cases, the material is dyed with intense chemical colouring. In some mountain villages of Cyprus, such as the Limassol district village of Caminaria, multicoloured items are made by interweaving reeds and twigs from various trees and bushes, such as terebinth, mulberry, chaste and wild olive. Small and large baskets of this kind are used even today during grape gathering time for the transport of the fruit by donkeys, as well as for the straining of the wine during the fermentation process. In addition to the common reed, other materials still used today, as in the past, are other indigenous plants of Cyprus, Vrulli, Samaji, Velonia, Fluvi and Sklinici. These materials are used primarily in the village of Trulli in the Larnaca district and Akrotiri in the Limassol district, which are the only two locations where such items are made. With these materials, the locals make various items used to carry and keep their products, such as the double sacks placed on donkeys and used to transport salt from the local salt lakes, the sacks slung over one's shoulder during the sowing season, those used for carrying olives during that particular fruit's season, and others. In closing, the people of the Mesauria and Famagosta regions used to make trays from reed cuttings, which, especially in Paphos, would be decorated with multicoloured pieces of cloth. These trays would be used for cutting noodles, the safekeeping of the traditional flauna, an Easter pastry, and would sometimes even hold a bride's dowry paraded at her house just before the wedding.